Hello from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here to discuss an active weather pattern bringing rain to the area on Friday, a break in the action, but then potentially even more active late next week. So here's a look at the weather highlights. Dense fog is widespread along the coast this morning, even into portions of the inland valleys. That will affect the morning commute, so drive with extra care out there. The fog will dissipate this afternoon, although it could hang on along the beaches, only to spread back inland this evening with locally dense fog again possible tonight from the coast through the inland valley some 15 miles inland. Then we look to rain. Rain will arrive with a Pacific storm system here on Friday. The beginning time of the rain looks to be late morning or early afternoon for Orange County and the Northern Inland Empire, spreading southeast through the day, probably not reaching San Diego until Friday evening. Rainfall mounts with this storm will not be excessive, but it could come down fast and furious during the Friday evening commute, especially in Orange County through the Inland Empire, where localized urban flooding is possible. Then we clear out here by Saturday, a few leftover showers, especially in the mountains, as, and snow levels, by the way, will be high at the onset, and once the pre bulk of the precipitation ends, the snow levels will lower, so only a few inches of snow are expected at the highest peaks. Then behind the storm system, winds turn offshore and become quite gusty and potentially locally strong at those Santa Ana favored high wind locations, and that's for Sunday and Monday. Then we're dry Tuesday, Wednesday, potentially the Thursday, but later next week, there's signs of potentially more active weather on the way with even more significant rainfall possibility. Here is a look at the satellite loop. So over the eastern Pacific, see this sprawling area of low pressure. This will dive southeast, and ahead of this low is a plume of moisture, what we call an atmospheric river, a narrow band of moisture. That will be progressing southeast and bringing that rain to the area, uh, fr as I mentioned, Friday, possibly as early as late morning, northern area spreading southeast. Uh, luckily, this is moving fast enough where precipitation amounts won't be too high. But uh, again, we're going to have another bout of rain on the way with this Pacific storm. Here is a look at the American model depiction of the storm system. The background color fields are precipitation. You can see it spreading quickly to the southeast. So we have that bout of rain moving across the area Friday afternoon, uh, Friday night. Uh, the upper low here spins over the area Saturday, but moisture decreases, so just a few showers around. And then that low moves to our southeast, so we get that dry offshore flow Sunday and Monday with really nice weather returning. So this is a quick moving storm delivering a punch of rain to the area, and then we dry out and it becomes nice during the early to middle part of next week. Let's take a look here at the total precipitation forecast for the Friday-Saturday system. You can see the northern locales have the heaviest precip, and as you get further south to San Diego, you're going to be lucky to receive even a quarter inch of rain. But here up from Orange County through the Northern Inland Empire, a half to perhaps up to an inch. And the maximum precipitation will be along the coastal mountain slopes of the San Bernardino County Mountains, where an inch to possibly an inch and a half of rain could fall. Again, snow levels will be high, so we only expect a few inches on the highest peaks. So let's take a look at the jet stream pattern. The jet stream are the high winds aloft that 
uh, guides storm systems, and that's where we look to see where storms are most favored. Here is the dip in the jet providing the storm for Friday, and then late in the week, the jet core really intensifies across the Pacific, and uh, it's displaced far enough south that brings a concern for potentially stronger storm systems to impact the state of California, including here in Southern California, beginning late next week and probably into the following week. So we're keeping an eye for that possibility. A really active winter weather pattern continues across the state, bringing really beneficial rainfall to the area. But we'll be watching for potentially stronger storm systems. And moisture will feed in ahead of these developing storm systems. Uh, we have atmospheric rivers. These are rivers, narrow band of moisture originating from the tropics. They get drawn northward ahead of these Pacific storms. One impacts our area briefly on Friday. And then late next week, here's one late next week likely impacting the state and probably here in Southern California. And then again, beyond with an active jet stream, we could have successive storms uh, into the following week. So it's just something we're keeping an eye on. Can't guarantee this, but the models indicate an active winter weather pattern continuing. Thanks for watching this weather briefing. For the latest forecast updates, visit our webpage at weather.gov. Have a great one.